The other one that I thought it's important for me to discuss with you is when you are dealing with your taxation paid. Right? Now, once again, you don't have to do what I'm doing in terms of writing taxation paid. No. All that you do is you draw a T account like that. You can call it taxation paid, TP, it's sufficient. Why? It's a calculation. Right? And all that the examiner wants to see is if you understand the concept of determining what was the bank figure in respect of taxation that was paid. How do we go about doing this? Step number one, look for your opening balance, right? Let me take you back to what I said early on in the lesson. What type of an account is your SARS income tax, right? What type of an account is SARS income tax? And the answer is it depends on whether it has a debit balance or a credit balance. So look for your opening balance either under trade and other receivables or trade and other payables. Got it? Okay, let's assume in this case here, it appears under trade and other receivables and the amount, that means it's a debtor and there's a balance there of 20,000 Rand. Watch, immediately put it on the debit side. Okay, so I've dealt with my opening balance. Step number two, look for your closing balance. Where am I going to find the closing balance for SARS income tax? Again, again, two possibilities. It's either under trade and other receivables or trade and other payables. That's the two possibilities. Okay, that's the only two places where you can find your SARS income tax. Let's assume that the end of the year, your closing balance is a credit balance of 15,000 Rand. Now watch this. This is important. It's a credit balance of 15,000 Rand, meaning you are still owing SARS an amount of 15,000 Rand. Got it? Okay, so this is what we do. 15,000 Rand. Above your train lines, these are your train lines, above your train lines, on the debit side. Why? Because when you bring it down, it's going to appear on the credit side. It's a credit balance at the end of the year, right? But for calculation purposes, note that above the train lines, it's on the debit side to be brought down as a credit balance. So you've dealt with opening balance, done and dusted, closing balance, done and dusted. Step number three, let's find our income tax for the year. Okay, and you are told that your income tax for the year, obviously where is this information going to appear? In an extract of your income statement, because you know when you're drawing up your statement of comprehensive income, you have your taxation in that uh, part of your, the bottom part of your calculation, income tax for the year. So in this case here, if we say the income tax amounted to 115,000 Rand, Watch, what's my double entry? Debit income tax, credit SARS income tax, and this will be your income tax, 115,000 Rand. Okay, so now you've got all the components that you need. What are you looking for? You're looking for your bank figure. What was the amount of taxation that was paid? And that's the figure that you, you are expected to put into your cash flow statement, taxation, paid what was the amount of money that left our bank account. Okay, so what do we do? Watch my calculation. Open my bracket, 115,000, right? Notice my 20,000 is on the opposite side, minus 20,000. My closing balance is also on the opposite side, minus 15,000, and obviously, if you do that, 115 minus is equal to 80,000 Rand. You're not going to do what I'm doing. You're going to do it with a calculator. And therefore, you're going to get a figure there of 80,000 Rand. That's the value of taxation that has been paid. 
Okay, 12s, I promise you, if you follow this procedure, if you follow this method, you're guaranteed to get this 100% spot on in the exams. Okay, so that's taxation paid. 